I'm Kate from The Saltiest Dog and I am going to bust some raw feeding myths today. It's not important for every single meal to be balanced. Um, what's important is that balance is achieved over time. Um, so if you think about the way we eat, um, we don't sit down to every meal and know exactly what is in that meal in terms of our daily requirements. Um, but we do strive to eat a balanced variety of foods, say, over the course of a week. Um, the same principle applies to the way we feed our dogs. It doesn't matter if you sit down, if your dog has a meal and it is not perfect and balanced, um, but what you want to do is strive to achieve balance over time. Um, so that might mean you, on some days you feed offal, on some days you don't. Um, you feed a wide variety of fruit and vegetables um, throughout the course of a week. You include raw meaty bones in their diet, which are really important. Um, as long as you are striving to achieve balance over time, it doesn't matter if every single meal isn't perfect and balanced. Vets have only been educated on dry food um, and we are coming a long way in terms of vets being more open to feeding fresh. But if you think about it, um, we know that highly processed foods aren't good for us. We know that eating fresh food is good for us. Why would it be any different for a dog? Um, why would a little bicky, a little highly processed biscuit that's being cooked within an inch of its life, why would that be better for a dog than a diet of fresh meat, fresh organs, fresh fruit, fresh beds? As long as you are putting a little bit of effort into creating balance over time, it's not going to cause harm to your dog um, to not have a perfectly complete and balanced meal at every single meal. The second myth I want to talk about is that raw meaty bones are dangerous. There is nothing better uh, for your dog's dental health long term than eating raw meaty bones regularly. Uh, the golden triangle of good dental health for dogs is brushing their teeth, simply seaweed, and chewing raw meaty bones. But if you can achieve two out of those three things, then you are doing a good thing and your dog will retain really good dental health throughout their life. Um, unfortunately, dental sticks, the commonly found dental sticks, um, especially the ones in the supermarket, are not good for cleaning teeth. They are full of all kinds of horrible things that do nothing to contribute to cleaning teeth. Um, the way that a dog chews a raw meaty bone, there's a mechanical aspect of the bone scraping against the tooth um, that helps prevent plaque from building up. And feeding your dog a variety of raw meaty bones regularly will help to keep them perfectly clean. It's important to remember that there are some risks, like with anything, um, any bone or any treat or anything that you feed your dog can potentially be a choking hazard. So it's important to know what kind of a bone eater your dog is and feed accordingly. So if your, bone, if your dog uh, is prone to scoffing or trying to swallow whole chunks, it is really important to supervise with new bones or go big, um, feed a bone that's really large that they have to chew on, that they can't swallow a chunk. And if they get it down to a point where it's a swallowable chunk, you need to take it away at that point. Um, so finding the perfect bone for your dog can be a little bit of trial and error. Um, but once you find the bone that's perfect for your dog and that their style of chewing or, or how they chew on particular bones, um, stick with that. The next one I want to talk about is that raw feeding can make your dog aggressive. Um, this is simply not true. Your dog is a carnivorous hunter. Um, that is what they are. Um, some dogs have a higher prey drive than others. Um, but in terms of aggressive behavior, this is mostly decided by uh, genetics, not the food that you feed them. Feeding your dog raw meat is not going to make them aggressive. Uh, the next one I want to talk about is a really common one and I think uh, this one turns people off raw feeding a lot um, and it's that your dog can get salmonella um, from raw meat. Um, again, this is not true. Um, it is possible but is extremely, extremely unlikely. Um, the main two reasons for that is that your dog's uh, stomach juices are highly, highly acidic, a lot stronger than ours and can kill bacteria um, that ours can't. So even if your dog did happen to um, digest some bacteria from food, um, it's, it's pretty likely that their stomach juices will handle that and they will, won't get ill from it. Um, the other reason is that dog's digestive tract is a lot shorter than ours. So they digest their food quite quickly um, from one end to the other, whereas things like salmonella can take a bit more time um, to happen in the gut. Um, so that reason alone usually means that even if exposed to bacteria, dogs won't get sick from it.
The two main things with um, raw meat and making sure you don't get any nasties from the food, um, your supplier. Um, so make sure it's um, from a brand that you trust that's using a high quality food, like the saltier stock. Um, the second thing is, is is just basic handling and storing. So if you are handling and storing the food in the same way that you would yourself, so you know keeping your surfaces clean, wiping down after um, preparation, storing raw meat separate from other things in the fridge, keeping it refrigerated, um, controlling that temperature. Um, if you're doing these things in the same way you would for your own food, it is very, very unlikely your dog will get ill from raw meat. The next one I wanna bust is that you cannot mix uh, raw food or fresh food with kibble. Um, there's this myth surrounding that it um, causes some issue in their tummy or makes it harder to digest, um, but it's actually not true. Dogs' stomachs are really, really tough and they can pretty much digest anything you put in there. Um, so I think it's important to remember that you definitely can and you should add fresh food um, to your dog's kibble. If you feed kibble, um, any fresh food that you add to their kibble is going to benefit them. They are going to get the benefits from the fresh food added and it won't cause any issues to mix it with kibble. It's actually a great way um, to slowly transition your dog to a raw diet. If you're feeding them kibble, you can. there's lots of things you can add to their kibble um, to slowly get them used to raw meat, bones, vegetables, anything like that um, that you can add to their food they're going to benefit from and you can do it slowly over time and it's not going to cause any problems.